The NFL coaching carousel got some grease and, and kicked into an extra gear the day after Christmas as the Denver Broncos announced that they have fired head coach Nathaniel Hackett uh, after, I mean, not even one season. I mean, bro made it 15 games. Like, do you know how badly you have to suck to be fired in your first year as an NFL head coach and, and have the team eat the bulk of your contract? But, of course, the Broncos are perfectly fine. Like, they understand about eating bad contracts because they have the Russell Wilson one uh, currently. But, you know, they, they release a statement, blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Hackett, blah, 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 blah. It is noteworthy that they did uh, say that they have confidence in GM George Payton, a former assistant to the regional general manager with the Vikings. Uh, so, I mean, even though George Payton, he hired Nathaniel Hackett and he traded for Russ. I mean, two firsts, two seconds, a fifth, and three players, as well as uh, hired Hackett. And they're just like, hey, he's that guy. He's the guy that we want shopping for the groceries, even though uh, he's shopping uh, at the dumpster, Wh whatever. But remember, remember, before the Vikings hired Kevin O'Connell, they interviewed Nathaniel Hackett. And reportedly, like, it, it was pretty close. It, it was a near-run thing, but thank goodness got Kevin O'Connell, and thank goodness we just missed out on all that. All right. So uh, apparently, uh, you have to have more coaching bona fides than having a famous dad as well as, uh, hey, Aaron Rodgers says you're cool get out of here get the hell out of here but uh the straw that broke the camel's back was the absolute embarrassment christmas day uh getting slimed by the rams 51 to 14 also you got dalton reisner and brett rippon fighting on the sidelines it's just it was just chaos it was pandemonium it, it was just completely ridiculous and yes the russell wilson broncos country let's ride thing that that was a whole uh just idiocracy where i mean russ may be washed but Hackett certainly did not bring out the best uh, in Russell Wilson. Plus, I mean, that Broncos offense is relatively talented, man. I mean, Garrett Bowles, before he got hurt, you got Cortland Sutton, you got Jerry Judy. I mean, you should be able to do something. should be able to do freaking something. But no, it, it just wasn't there. And uh, Hackett, in his lone season as a head coach, he's never going to be a head coach again, right? I mean, I, I would be shocked if he's anything more than just a quarterback's coach going forward. But 4-11, and Dead last in the NFL in points uh, at averaging uh, just shy of 15 and a half a game, which is ridiculous. H had a four-game losing streak. Oh, no. All, they lost uh, nine games out of 10 in the middle there. Ten games out of 12, something like that. It's just gross. It, it was just absolutely disgusting from start to finish. Uh, the team lacked unity. Uh, there was no control, and it was just a, a mess overall. And also, re remember, I mean... After week one, they had to hire a clock management coach. So they had to add someone else to the payroll because Hackett literally could not manage the clock. So that's inexcusable, but is what it is. And uh, the Colts, Panthers, and the Broncos now currently have openings. They haven't announced who the Broncos interim head coach is going to be, but looking at their staff, I mean, who's it going to be? Dom Capers? Is it going to be Clint Kubiak? That would actually be pretty hilarious. Not, not going to lie, but, you know, it's just... He seems like an okay dude, but he was certainly in over his depth. Uh, George Payton made an absolutely atrocious hire. Nathaniel Hackett should have never, ever been an NFL head coach, but now now it's over. And Broncos fans, I, I feel bad for Broncos fans because they are significantly handicapped for the next couple of years because of the giving up of the first and second round picks the next two years in the Russell Wilson trade, uh, as well as the Russell Wilson contract. And now they have to find a new head coach. And then uh, if it doesn't work out, they could fire George Payton. So, I don't know, man. I don't know, but uh, again, thank our lucky stars that we're living here today because Kevin O'Connell still stands for freedom, and we didn't hire that guy. That's right, man. But your thoughts on our thoughts. Denver Broncos fired Nathaniel Hackett, not even after one season, after 15 games. It's Wow. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.